Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live event of Gregson Hall. It is an upperclassman dorm that holds around 200 kids and students. Um, it was opened back in 1948. 1948. It has been renovated since, so it's not that old. <laughs> I actually thought it was one of the newer dorms on campus, but it's not. Yeah, the inside has been renovated a lot. What's yes. your name? My name is Molly Strickland. I am a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm from Rogers, 30 minutes up the road for those of y'all who don't know Rogers. Um, and I'm studying advertising and public relations here at the Fantastic. university. I'm about to start junior year and hopefully be done soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for giving yes. us a tour. Um, so let's see what do we have here in the immediate neighborhood. Okay, so we are just right outside Gregson right now, just kind of showing you what's out here and what's about. So if we go over here, we're going to see Humphreys Hall, mm -hmm. which is the tall, older dorm, and it's a freshman mainly dorm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have Bruff with Quiznos is there. You're going to have Starbucks there. You're going to have Bruff a go go, which you can go in between classes to just do a quick meal swipe and get that lunch that you need. Um, Did you ever hit this uh, Club Red? Yeah, so Club Red, fun fact about Club Red, have the best cinnamon rolls in your life, but you have to go early in the morning or else they won't be there because everyone loves them. Interesting. Club I did not know that. Super good. Best cinnamon rolls. I don't know where they, where they come from, but they're really good. Um, so you said Bruff, Bruff and then Founders? Founders yeah. and Kimple right there and then straight out we're on Dixon Street right here we're at the end of Dixon Street we're at the top of Dixon the top of Dixon <laughs> you guys are the point of Dixon yes um, that's actually where Dixon ends I guess exactly right here right here literally right there um right here is gonna be Gibson Gibson it's another upperclassman dorm and then we're gonna have the music buildings I don't Epley yeah yes yes and then very through the trees you can see the Arkansas Union um, best place to go especially fun fact if you don't know this they have breakfast meal trade at Avon Pan in the mornings from 7 to 8 30 nice so nice. definitely check that out because you can get a strawberry lemonade a cinnamon roll and a banana for meal trade it's all you need very cool yeah so we'll just go inside um, we'll start our tour you know, why don't, be... why don't we point out too where Class Plus is? Because I guess you, yes. you have to access it from here. And kind of what is it? So Class Plus is a program on campus that, ah, spider. <laughs> <laughs> program on campus where you can go to get tutoring if you need it. So it's gonna be, you're gonna walk around to the end of Gregson and you're mm -hmm. gonna actually go down into like a basement. And it, you can go to class.uark.edu and it's gonna, you can schedule tutoring appointments. I went to a French lesson or French tutoring appointments. I've been to math tutoring appointments. They also have the SI. Some of your classes will be down there and SI is usually, it's kind of like a lab for business people. It just kind of depends on the class that you're in and that will also be downstairs. Nice. So it's a really good tool to use, especially since it's included in all of your fees that you pay for on campus. So you're paying for it. So you might as well just use it. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for pointing that out. Of course. We'll head inside. Yes, and we're gonna be showing a regular bedroom and so be able to ask some questions in the comments box and then we'll show you a bathroom and we're going to get to the basement right now. Okay, so here we are at Gregson Lodge. Gregson Lodge, that was the original name of the building mm -hmm. back in 1948. Like Interesting stair structure, so like the moment you walk in, you come to this sort of stair where you go up or go down. Yeah. We're going to go down and then we're, we're going to go up. Straight down and then we'll come back up. Yeah, okay. Really pretty. Yeah, some nice this, details in here. Like this little marble right here. And you cannot access Class Plus from down here. You have to go yeah. on the side of the building to get outside. Completely separate, but shares the building, but not access. Yeah. So I'll go down this way. Um, and down this way, we're going to have like a common area where you can come hang out with friends if you're needed to do some homework. Um, it's a good place to study. Super comfortable furniture. Mm -hmm. There's a TV. There's some games. So here in Gregson, the, this uh, this area is a very very uh, popular. This sort of den yes. area. You kind of got a little library right here. Is there? You mind catch that light over there? Oh yes. Like that. 
I mean, it's a big space down here in the basement right. area. So when they say Gregson basement, what they mean is this, not like some sort of dingy basement. Not a dingy basement. Super nice basement. It has a little fireplace. Uh -huh. um, but cool you can table. Just come in here. You can turn on the TV if you need to. You can watch some movies. Um, yeah. We have a pool table over there. There's vending machines. Vending machines, you can't use your card, your student ID. You can if you load money onto it. But it's pretty much not going to be included in any of your housing fees, so you'll have to pay for that with cash, card, or Apple Pay. Oh. So, go inside the kitchen. Okay, we're in the kitchen area. So we're going to have an ice machine in here. You're going to have a fridge right here. Mm -hmm. And then this is just your regular counters with a stove top. Um, just make sure to clean up after yourself. It is, you do share this building with 200 people, so definitely clean yourself afterwards. This is going to be a microwave right here, so if you don't, if you don't need to bring your own, I would just suggest using this one that's here because it's you pay for it. Molly, did you bring your own microwave your first year? I did. Me and my roommate, we shared one. Okay. But what are your thoughts? I didn't. Did you use it? I didn't. Well, yeah, kind okay. of, but I didn't know about the kitchen until. The kitchen and I lived in Yoko, so I didn't know about the little kitchen until midway through the year and I was like well why did I bring this it's taking up so much space so yeah I don't think it's really you don't really need it okay yeah and then there's just, just a sink where you can wash your dishes mm -hmm. and you don't have to bring any pots and pans you can check that out from the lobby upstairs which we'll show you after we finish the little basement Absolutely. part. Absolutely. Just remember to return them all clean. Yes. It's one of those things where like the kitchen is continually dirty then everybody as a group gets penalized sometimes. So yes. it's always good to keep it clean because it's a shared space. Okay. The next fun part is mm -hmm. the laundry. Okay. So this is the laundry room. You're gonna have five washers, six dryers. You're gonna have some racks over there where you can fold. Here's another folding table. So in case you all don't know, they we do have a laundry alert system with all of the laundry no matter where you are. And so basically, you can download the app on your phone or Android, or you can just scan the regular QR code right here that's gonna be on the washers and the dryers as well. And you'll scan that and it'll actually tell you when your clothes are done being washed. And then if you were to be in the dryer, I'll tell you when your clothes are done drying. It's a good way to, if you're wanting to go back upstairs to study or you have somewhere to be, it's something good and useful to use. And you can also do it on your computer. You can log into the website. And in case you completely forget about what I'm saying right now, it is right here on the wall so you cannot miss it. And it tells you all of the directions on how to do it. It'll also tell you if there's one that's open. So if you don't want to come down here and you've come down here several times and they're always in use, download that and I'll tell you when one's open. And there is, it's a three floor uh, building and there is not an elevator. So there you don't want to have to go back and forth too many times. So it's always nice to check it from the comfort of your phone. Exactly. To see if one is open before you come yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, great. And you don't have to pay, you don't have to put in any quarters or anything that's included in your housing fees. So we have about seven or eight people watching. Feel free to chime in, say hello, tell us where you're coming from. Uh, maybe you lived here in the past or maybe you're going to be living here this fall. Mm -hmm. We'd love to talk to you about Gregson. Yeah, just ask all Historic any questions hall. that you may have. We are happy to answer them. This is why we're here. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so we'll tour. There's another kind of common area. As I said, yeah. there's the So here's the vending table. machines that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get Pepsi, you can get water, you can get Orange Crush, and then this is a really nice vending machine right here. And <laughs> it's fancy. Get, it's got an LCD. It's really it's got fancy. A big display there. So you can get some Miss Knots, you can get gum, you can get chips, anything like that. And then this is going to be your pool table. Um, like we said with the pool table, if you need any, you need to borrow the pool sticks, you're going to have to, the pool sticks are right there, but you're going to have to ask someone to borrow the stuff usually because there's a ping pong table and you'll have to ask to borrow the paddles too. Yeah. With the front um, desk area. There's a restroom right here, just basic restroom. Um, you've seen one, you've seen them all, right? You've seen them once, you've seen them all. Um, and then right here is going to be the ping pong table where you'll have to go and rent that equipment from. You can just come here and come play with your friends and stuff. And just make sure that you do have to fall in to every single residence hall here on campus. So if your friend's coming 
and they don't live here or they're from another hall, you have to go and fob them in. They can't just walk in. So make sure you don't do that whenever they're coming. That's a good point. And then here's going to be, it's not a classroom, it's just a nice little study area. So we know there's a lot of group projects here on campus. We're all upperclassmen, we all know that. So yeah. always can come here. There's a whiteboard that you can use. So um, two so whiteboards. So you two have an whiteboards. alternate board and a main board. A mini whiteboard. Great thoughts will be um, thought. Really board. good picture. Is that, who drew um, that? No, I don't know. That's it's funny. Good. Was that a face it's in here? It's kind of creepy. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Um, so the good thing about Gregson is there's so many study spaces. Mm -hmm. So you don't have an, you don't have an excuse not to do anything. Oh. Um, and then just right here is our little recycling. Um, bottles only right here, plastic, aluminum, cans, and paper. Fantastic. Oh, and there's some yearbooks over there. Yearbooks? There's some board games too I saw, and yeah. puzzles. Some puzzles. Do you ever do puzzles? Um, I like to whenever I'm, like it's a rainy day, but not on a nice day. Okay, okay. Or if I'm bored, you know, it really just depends. Because if you get past a 500 puzzle, you will not catch me doing it. I see. So we'll go back upstairs. This is the same way that we came down, so you're not getting confused. This is a beautiful staircase. And I think we have like T minus 30 days until we move in. Yeah, oh yeah, Three. we're getting very close to move in time. A little bit more than a month. <clears throat> Starts as soon as August, I believe, 11th. Yeah, so about a month or so. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be your main lobby. You'll just walk up one flight of stairs. Uh -huh. Out of breath. <laughs> walk up one flight of stairs. And this is going to be a little lobby area right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to point out the mailboxes right here. So you'll get an email to your Arkansas account. That will, you and your roommate will share a mailbox. Mm -hmm. And you'll have a code in there, and that will be what you use to get your mail. So this is just going to be like regular letters and stuff like that. Packages you'll probably get from the front desk, which we'll show you. Yeah, we'll show you the front desk. <laughs> You're right. Climbing the stairs in the hot Climbing weather. Climbing the stairs, speaking. It's going to be our front desk right so here. here we are at you the front desk. Hi, yes. how are you? Uh, welcome to Gregson. My Thank name is Jerry you. Gale, and I'll be helping you with your packages or keys, any issues you have during the day. Just come see me, and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you, Jerry. What are some things that people typically kind of check out from the different desks? Uh, we have irons if mm -hmm. you want to iron your clothes. We have uh, pool sticks for the and the ping pong table downstairs if you want to play games in your downtime. Fantastic. Um, cleaning it, supplies if you want to clean. I was just seeing those vacuum cleaners yes, behind you. you. Is that wanna, something if that you're a neat freak? We mm -hmm. have cleaning supplies to check out and uh, cooking utensils and pans if you want anything like that if you want to cook we also have game boards movies and sometimes uh video games if you're a gamer there's maybe some of that here too so fantastic well thank you come jerry by yeah. and ask and we'll see what we can help you with all right all right well thank all you right. so much thank you okay so we'll keep here's all right here. the mailboxes Another. Mm -hmm. um and this is just going to be like a hallway where there's door or yeah rooms on either side We'll go. Check out a bathroom and then a room. Does that sound okay? Yes. Okay, I thought there was someone in the bathroom, but it's just working on something. <laughs> so this is empty right now, but a lot of times we have summer camps and things like that that come in. So let me see. I think let's just make sure no one's in the bathroom. We are cleaning them right now. Okay, okay. Let's uh, so go ahead and we'll just, we'll just pop in real quick. Okay. Yeah. So this is just going to be like a typical bathroom. We're going to have vanities on this side, some sinks over here. Um, go ahead and pretty, show them a full view here. Pretty plain thing. Uh -huh. And then there's going to be restrooms on this side. Sure. I think you had a fun fact about the urinals, actually. <laughs> yeah, there are, in times where we've had uh, women live on this floor, we have used flower pots in there to make sure there's a little decoration <laughs> in the urinal area. And the showers are back here. We'll take a look at a shower on another floor and uh, show that to you. Yeah. It's just pretty much going to be like a basic shower, you know. You're going to have a changing area and you have the actual shower. Yeah. 
They're pretty big. I guess pretty I guess big, maybe yeah. we won't go up to the second floor to look at it, but so, they're fairly big. You walked in it. I walked you know. in it, yeah. I mean, it's about this big. You're doing cleaning right now, so we are doing the cleaning so. everywhere. If your room is 105, mm -hmm. congratulations. We are two. That's right, where's right 105? Here. There we are. Right here on the door. Um, so this is going to be a typical room layout for Gregson. All of the furniture is movable, so you can adjust it however you may want. You're going to have desk right here with overhead tops. Mm -hmm. You're going to have three drawers, and you'll have the pull-out drawer right here. And then you'll have this chair, which actually does something really cool. In case no one noticed this. Come on. All right. It's a rocking chair. Nice. So in case you need to, you have a bunch of friends in here and you need a little bit more seats, you can definitely do that. And then your bed, you can loft it. Um, you can always loft it yourself if you didn't want to do a maintenance request. However, maintenance requests are usually easier. You can do that before you get here. So when you arrive, it's already locked. It's what you need. You can go to housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it. And you can put in a request to have them lock your bed. You can lock it all the way up to here. I mean, you can lock it even lower than this height if you want. Um, and if you don't put in a maintenance request, we have rubber mallets that you can borrow to do. Or we suggest bringing your own just because there's so many people trying to do everything, it might be easier to do that way. question that comes up a lot during move-in is, um, should we bring a dolly? And I would say that very much like the rubber mallet, we do recommend that you bring a dolly. I mean, uh -huh. you'll, you'll know how that works the best. We do have some limited dollies that you can borrow, yes. but you know, there's a lot of people moving in pretty quickly, so it's always best to yes. bring your own. everyone's trying to move in. Um, three drawers right here that you can use for dressers right here. Mm -hmm. We'll show you this one. You can put your towel right here after you get done in the shower. And then this is just going to be your closet. So you're going to have some closet space in here. That, I mean, you can hide me if you go in this corner. Um, so it goes pretty deep in here. It's pretty good closet space You're going to hang anything up. You can put shoes and stuff up here. Mm -hmm. But it's a pretty good closet size. You know, you don't need a whole lot. There's also the up, up above. Yeah, so there's an upper head compartment up there. Like, really short. I don't know if you, you know what? Yeah. There's an overhead thing though. Right. It will open. It we will, will get it open, open for you. It is meant to be used by you. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, are there any questions about Gregson? I know a lot of people who are tuning in have probably either lived in Gregson or, you know, you've been on campus already one year, so you know a lot yeah. of what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so I don't necessarily expect a lot of questions, but if you have them, now is a perfect time to ask them because we are happy to help. And there is a really good view off these windows. You're going to be looking straight onto Dixon Street. And it's just the best thing about Gregson is there's so much natural lighting that's coming in. Mm -hmm. So it really feels cozy and happy. Um, it's a good place to be. It's really center of campus. You don't have to walk up many hills. Very few, like, baby hills, maybe. Unless you walk up Dixon Street and bless your heart, you're going to get a good, like, workout. But other than that, it's... Perfect location. What's a good place to check out on Dixon Street if you're fresh to Fayetteville? Fresh to Fayetteville. Um, West Albee is my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. It is a Chinese Asian kind of food place. Um, you can get sushi there. The Razorback Roll is really good. I think it has tem tempura shrimp. Mm -hmm. Tempura, I don't know. Um, it's called the Razorback Roll. Super good. They also have California rolls for all you basic people. Um, chicken fried rice. There's also a really good place called Bordino's, um, which is kind of Italian. It's mm -hmm. really good. It's a fancier restaurant. And then, of course, you have a place called Chipotle, which we all know of. Chipotle Cadoba is right across the street. Nothing but some good business right there. Um, there's also the Campus Bookstore. We have one on Dixon Street. Um, oh, no, that's not actually affiliated with the university. It's not actually affiliated. A, it, there is a bookstore there. The but university bookstore sure. is at the corner of, I believe, Douglas and, and, uh, yeah, Garland. and Garland. Garland. And, uh, but no, you, you yeah. anyway, so let's There's some good see. shops over there. There's Southern Trend. Mm -hmm. There's Ely's, which is my personal favorite. And you're really not too far from downtown. Okay. You just go on Center Street. Once you get down Dixon, kind of where our Sagas is, where the Walton's Art Center is, and you'll take a ride. Very nice, yeah. thank you. Um, well, if there's nothing else and no questions, then we'll just go ahead and sign off. Yeah, we'll sign off and at 2 p.m. we're gonna be doing a tour of Walton Hall. 
We're also going to be doing tours later about how to move in, how to prep your tech, so make sure to tune into those as well. See ya!